What's going on Salt Strong Nation? I've got some really cool stuff to show you today in our new Smart Fishing Spots app. We have added a bunch of new updates that includes a whole new tool set that's gonna help you plan really successful trips offshore from knowing what the weather and wind is going to do, wave height, we're actually gonna look at some wrecks, reef tools, uh, as well as the 3D mapping imagery. There's so many amazing things in the Smart Fishing Spots tool that's gonna help you have a better time planning a trip offshore. And I wanna reiterate this Smart Fishing Spots app is included with your Salt Strong Insider Club membership. There's nothing extra that you have to do once you join the Insider Club to get access to this. Now, what we're looking at right now is the first piece in planning an offshore trip, and that's wind and weather. And we'll also look at wave heights. So what you would do to access this is just to go to this little gear tool right here and hit this little icon with the cloud and the sun and the rain. This will give you access to all the different weather tools that you guys can see. We've got a lot of really awesome stuff here. First view that we're looking at here is the wind. What's really useful about this when you plan a trip offshore is number one, knowing how fast the wind's going to be moving, uh, the gusts and everything, as well as being able to watch it throughout the day as it moves, what direction it's going to be going, if it picks up, slows down, the color coordination, uh, the lighter colors, the greens and even reds, those are going to indicate higher winds. The blue and kind of cool spots, those are your low winds. You can actually get a visual idea of which way the wind's gonna be blowing, how fast it's moving by watching these little white lines here. So we can see we've got some calmer winds up in some of these blue spots. As we can see, the green spots have much faster moving winds. And if we wanted to get an actual reading on what these winds were, we'd drop down the show forecast button. And you're gonna end up with a little crosshair right here in the middle of your screen. And we'll actually be able to see what that wind rating is going to be for that specific area. You could click on the time frame, and you'll be able to see as you scroll through what that reading is going to be throughout the day at each hour. Now, if we take a look further south where it's windier and we click on the day that we are going to go fish, we can see, again, it's gonna be a little bit windier than the spot we just looked at. So again, lining that crosshair up with the area that you want to fish is going to give you the exact readings for that zone. Now, another really useful tool that you can use for planning offshore trips is knowing what the wave height is going to be, what the seas are going to be doing, uh, which way the current and everything's gonna go. So if we look at the wave tool, again, by clicking on this weather drop-down bar, we can actually see what the waves are going to be doing. And again, using this scale that's here at the bottom, we can see it starts off with kind of low, about, about one to 1 1.5 foot, going up to three, five. Again, as the wave color gets darker, it's going to mean higher seas. If you zoom in, you can see what area that you're going to be fishing and what the approximate wave height is going to be and what it's going to do throughout the day. So as we progress through, say, today, Friday, we can see that the waves are going to be generally calm, uh, but it's going to get a little bit heavier as we get later on into the day. Sunday, going further on, is going to be heavier wave sets, looking like more around that three foot range. But again, it's just really helpful to know, looks like calm seas uh, on Saturday. Just being able to scroll through, see those different time frames is really nice, really helpful. Uh, and then the last piece of the puzzle in knowing what you're going to be seeing offshore is knowing whether there's going to be rain or storms and again hitting that rain and thunder really helpful to see uh, where any kind of storms or weather is going to be coming through and again you can just scroll through the different days and see you know you're going to have some storms or you're going to be dealing with some squalls uh, and which direction all that's going to be moving. So if you know that you're going to be going offshore fishing, uh, you might have a window before a storm hits. Again, always exercise good caution and try to plan trips where you're not going to be in the path of weather. So that is all of the really useful tools that we've got to help you really plan a trip well. I mean, we've even got other stuff such as clouds so that you know uh, where you're going to have overcast conditions, where you're gonna have sunny conditions. Uh, there is a lot of really, really helpful stuff. It even tells you a high, medium, medium, low clouds, tons of really useful tools uh, to help you plan your trip a little bit better. Now, another useful tool that you can use is the artificial reef function. Now to access this data, again, it stretches from Texas all the way around through Florida, up through the Carolinas, even going all the way up to Virginia. We're trying to add some more data for areas that are up in the Northeast as there are some wrecks up there, uh, but this is uh, data that we have to pull from government data and survey data. So it does take a little bit of time. Now I'll go in and zoom in on an area that's got 
a lot of these reefs, as you guys can see, this is just one spot uh, and it does require you to zoom in and, and move around because these dots are very closely clustered. Uh, so you need to be able to differentiate between the two of them. Uh, if we zoom in a little bit here, we can see there's tons of reefs and wrecks. What's really useful about this tool is you can actually click and see all of the different data about what this specific artificial reef is. And there's even some wrecks. So we've got a sailboat over here. It tells you it was a barge. It's at 54 foot, even gives you the coordinates. Um, going over, looking at some, some of these other types of reefs, uh, we've got a bunch of steel beams, scrap metal uh, at 130 foot. There's tons of great data over here that you guys can see just by using the artificial reef tool. And that's as you continue to scroll up and down the coast. Um, and as you do that, again, more of these little bubbles will pop up. You guys can see there's more up over here. You just have to kind of pinch up and down the coast to see because you, you're, if you don't zoom in, it's not going to pop that data up. And again, that is not just for Florida. I just wanted to use that one area as an example. I don't want to give away too many of these spots, uh, but if you just, kind of cruise up and down the coast with that artificial reef tool function on, you will be able to see that. Uh, another really useful tool is the shaded relief. This is one of the most useful tools I've found for going offshore and finding different types of bottom structure. So as you guys can see, we've got it all up and down the coast. Some areas are even more detailed than others. If you go to South Florida, you can see these regions have a lot of really great data, um, even going over to areas in Louisiana, lots of really good in-depth data. As we get down in here, we can see all the different bottom contours. If you wanna know how far out channels run, or if there's specific structure, you know, we've got a big old hole out here. We can see there's a ton of really great structure that we can find just by cruising around on this offshore map, an area that, for example, I've found here in Texas, we've got some really nice ridges and rocks that are out really deep. And I am able to find those using that 3D imagery tool. And if you really want to get the coordinates for these things and know where you need to run, you can use our routes tool. Now, I'm not gonna drop the tool on that specific reef right there just because uh, I don't wanna give away any of these spots on the public videos, but if you are an insider, again, you can use this tool yourself, to get those specific coordinates. Uh, but to plan a route or a track, say you're going out of Port Aransas, it'll give you the start you guys can see it over there with a the lat launch and run your route. So if I wanted to finish out at say this little small hole right here, I have the exact uh, coordinates for it. It tells me how far the run's gonna be uh, to get out there. Um, there's a, a lot of really useful information that you can get just looking on the 3D imagery tool and planning your routes. You can get exactly where you need to run and everything just from that tool. Now, another view that I find incredibly helpful is this marine chart right here. It's a lot like the shaded relief data, but it's a little bit different in that you can get a very quick view of depths and drop-offs and contours, as well as some important marks that might not show up on the artificial reef data or the shaded relief. This is uh, done by Navionics. They've got a lot of data in here. Uh, this can include cutoff pipe rigs. It can inc include the uh, different types of structures that are out there. We can see anywhere that you've got any of these little circles. Uh, this indicates a wreck right here. These are oil platforms or cutoff rigs. There's tons of great data. Uh, and this is again, not just for Texas. If I zoom out, we can see we scroll across to Florida or the Carolinas. Well, in fact, we'll use an area in the Carolinas, for example. We can see we've got a lot of wrecks right off over here. We can see where all the ridges are. There's a lot of really useful data that you can get just from this marine chart. So I recommend using all the different types of views to get a good idea of where you might want to run, some zones you might want to check out. You know, if you see this wreck out here in 89 feet, you can run out there and put your depth finder on, see what structure is out here. And again, you would just use the routes and tracks to put your GPS coordinates in right in on that spot. So really, really useful tool. Uh, but this is just some of the features that we've got in here. We're continuously adding more stuff. We've got a lot of really cool things coming on the way. But again, if you want access to this data, we have got that in the Smart Fishing Spots app and if you get that automatically when you join the Salt Strong Insider Club. So if you guys have any other questions on this, I'm more than happy to respond to them in the comment section below, but we are adding more as every day goes by. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys the next set of updates we're about to roll out. It's really going to make this the most in-depth offshore fishing app 
out there possible. So thank you again so much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the Insider Club soon. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know we're the number one online fishing club out there because we actually guarantee we're going to help you find and catch more fish, not only with our courses and tips, but with our Smart Fishing Spots app that actually tells you where and when fish are going to be feeding at any time of the day. We're also gonna help you save a ton of money on tackle and you're gonna make a bunch of new friends fast in the Insider Club. So thank you again so much for watching and we're looking forward to seeing you in the Insider Club club soon.